I'm Jo and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing this one right here, the Daygen's Apple. Okay, now this one I did get sent a review copy of this um, by the publisher which is uh, Nimtree Nim Press. I did an unboxing for that so if you want to check that out I will link that up for you. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the book. Okay, for me this was a solid three star, okay, um, potentially even slightly more than that, three and a half, uh, maybe on this one. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's very different um, from the sort of books that I normally read. Um, this one is obviously YA, uh, so shorter, um, potentially than some of the other reads but um, it did have a lot to think about in this one. Um, this is set in the golden age of Baghdad, okay? So um, that's one of the reasons why this is very different from the usual books that I read. I haven't read many books um, about uh, Islamic um, countries and things, and so it was nice and refreshing from that point of view. Um, doing this and also a time period um, I mean you've got the Arabian Nights obviously it's that kind of time period but other than the Arabian Nights I can't actually think of any other book that is sort of set in that time period um, again that's probably because it's not my usual read okay but it just like mainstream haven't really heard of any other so um, that gets plus points for this because I, I do like it when um, you get those out of the ordinary stuff covered. Okay, so anyway, let's dive into this one. Okay, so we've got uh, Nardine, who at the start of the book is, if I remember rightly, she was 12 years old um, when it happened. So her entire family ends up getting killed all in the one night. Okay, they're assassinated and she's the only one that manages to get away. Um, she then, she comes back and she ends up being mentored um, by this professor who, um, they have a bit of a strange relationship. Um, later we find out exactly what professor's been up to and things but um yeah it's there's a lot going on there i don't want to give you spoilers on this one um because this that would ruin it i don't want to ruin it um trying to think how can how can i explain what happens without giving you spoilers <laughs> Um, so one of the things, and another plus point for this as well, because obviously Nadine being female, um, entering into the world of scholars and doctors and things, not something that, you know, was done by females. Um, and uh, so from that point of view, I liked the, I liked that, that she was doing the things that no other female was doing and actually doing them better than a lot of her male counterparts and things as well um in a, in a time you know where it wasn't it wasn't considered back then you know um females could only be nurses and and that would have been it and they wouldn't have studied um and done research and things like that so um i very much like that aspect of it so if you are looking for a book that empowers young women then you might want to check this one out um, for that but anyway so in this we have her who's she's trying to realize her dreams um, things that she sort of prepared and dreamed about doing with her father um, and then so now she has this mentor who's guiding her in this and she's finally being able to realize that but at the same time she also still wants to get to the bottom of what really happened um, to her family uh, why they were all killed and um, 
get revenge for them as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on uh, in this one. And yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was an interesting read. Um, I kind of felt that I wanted more. So this, this is why it's not a higher rating for me. Um, because whilst I did get connected to characters in it, Nadine in particular, I felt connected to Nadine. Um, the other characters I felt were um, missing um, a bit more from them. Um, I felt had there been a bit more in depth about their characters and, and stuff, then maybe I would have connected more from that point of view. I also from the fact that the story I wanted more I wanted more things explained I wanted I just wanted more in in general <coughs> excuse me so I thought it was very very good and I did very much enjoy it and it is uh, perfect as a middle grade young adult read um, I liked the originality of it and the fact that it was different and thing. I just I felt I needed more from the story that I wanted more details I wanted more build-up I wanted um, a bit more development and insight into the other characters as well okay so but overall very good so there you go that is the Dajun's Apple check it out Anyway, that is it from me today. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.